Hello and welcome guys yeah, to some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I don't know if you saw my videos yesterday, but I posted like five Point different ones. Five. Three of them are a live stream broken up into parts, and the others are Terrace Town and um, yeah, it was Call of Duty Black Ops on PC. Uh, this game I'm showing you is from League Play. It is cool because we go down, I'm, I'm playing by myself, uh, but as a team we go down pretty big and we need like a perfect last three hills and we actually are able to get it and then I, I got a pretty nice um, stop with the cap. I got like three people to basically give us a win. We win by like two seconds. And uh, also I wanted to note that uh, coming up after today are zombie videos with Irish. They'll be like one part per day. Um, we got to like 26 and then we fucked up real bad. Like I, I followed him to a room and I shouldn't have and then... Yeah, we, we, we probably should have just stayed where we were, but we didn't, and we, yeah. Basically, I think a crawler died on us or something, and we kind of got all out of place, and weirdness happened. But, um, so yeah, but it's still pretty good. We pretty much do everything, fly around, do shit. <laughs> um, also, DayZ is coming. Uh, I found a new mod that I want to try out, uh, Breaking Points. basically a mod of a mod, and I want to try that out. And more videos are coming. I'm, I'm, I'm back in the saddle, at least for now. Um, anyway, so, I don't want to talk about that too long. Uh, so Jason Collins, uh, is a NBA free agent, which is what makes him unremarkably remarkable, <laughs> I guess. It's like, it's not LeBron James, and uh, like, for the NFL, it's not Tom Brady. It, it's, it's not like one of these big name guys, it, it, it's Jason Collins. But, Jason Collins is now the first active... U.S. major sports, team sports player to come out as gay, and I've been listening to reaction in the in the in the in the internet world and in TV and radio and things like that. Um, I haven't listened to too much, but I've listened to whatever has been on my feed and whatever uh, sports networks have been saying about it. I haven't heard like what CNN thinks, and quite frankly, I don't care what CNN thinks. But, um, overall I would say the response has been positive. It's been pretty good. Uh, there are a few idiots like Mike Wallace, uh, Leon Washington, uh, Chris Broussard. Uh, the first two are NFL players. Chris Broussard is a writer, columnist, analyst for ESPN. Um, his thing was it's against the Bible. Leon Washington, Mike Wallace. Um, Wallace was something about there are so many beautiful girls. I don't know why a guy would want to be with a guy. Just some st stupid, ignorant comment from a 20-something-year-old who just has no fucking... I don't know. Just sounded really immature, because it was just stupid. And Leon Washington said something along the lines of, I don't know if this is what God intended, or I don't think it's what God intended. And stuff like that. Um, I was listening to Felger and Maz, which is a local radio show. Um, they talk sports most of the time, uh, between like 2 and 6 um, on the East Coast in Boston. And they had a guy call in who basically said, like, no one's going to watch the NBA anymore. The people in suits, meaning, like, the owners of the teams, shouldn't allow gay players. They shouldn't allow them to talk. It, like, no one's going to watch anymore because there's one gay free agent. <laughs> like, even if he gets signed to a team, he's not going to play. <laughs> like, he, he, he's not that good. Um, he was a former Boston Celtic who I think then went on to the Wizards, and he was never an important part of either team. So, never fear that, like, your NBA MVP is going to be a gay player. Um, unless LeBron James, Kevin Durant, or someone, like, decides that they're going to tell us this, it's unlikely that that's going to happen, at least right now. And... You know, another thing he said was, like, what if three out of five players were gay? Like, what if half your starters were gay? <laughs> and Felger, who is the guy doing the show, was like, I guess you'd have a gay team? I, like, I, I don't know. What do, you, what do you mean? He's like, well, they're supposed to be macho and tough. And then, like, the immediate thought that popped in my head was, well, I didn't watch too much of Jason Collins, because like I said, he didn't play that often. But when I did see Jason Collins, I never saw him go out there in a tutu. So, I think he got the macho and tough thing just fine. <laughs> like, I don't think there was an issue there. So, I don't quite understand what that means. Like, well, if you let the player tell you they're gay, they're going to go out there, like, dressed in pink? Like, what What do you mean? <laughs> like, 
they're gonna break out into song in the middle of the game, like stop playing basketball and like have a musical. Like, I don't understand what you think is gonna happen here. And I was watching Hutch's video uh, a couple days ago, where he he has a shirt that says like "Gay sex doesn't make you gay," and it's a joke, a long running joke now, like a three year running joke. And if you didn't, you don't know it. I'm not gonna explain it. But he's basically saying that you should be equal and whatever. Kind of the point. Uh, it, I remember reading a comment. It was like, now my kids are going to be gay because they watch you, Hutch. Like, are you insane? <laughs> this is so stupid and ignorant and dumb. And if you think that's true, then you're just stupid or you're gay, maybe. Secretly gay because... If you think that allowing it would make everyone turn gay, you're insane, because that would mean all the gay people would be straight, because they can just choose. That's also like saying you choose what food you like. Like, you know, I don't like broccoli. There's nothing I can do to make myself like broccoli. It's just I put it in my mouth, and to me it tastes like shit. I can't convince myself that it tastes any different. Like, you know, I can't make broccoli taste like chocolate. It's just not something I have the ability to do. Therefore, it's not a choice. Like, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? Like, there are things that you don't choose, and one of them happens to be food. It's just an easy example anyone can relate to. And if you dare argue it, you're stupid, and just being, you're just arguing for argument's sake. You're not really arguing because you have any evidence to point to the contrary. There's a reason we like pizza and like chips and things like that because they taste good to us it doesn't mean that they're actually good for you <laughs> you know <sighs> whatever i digress on that topic um but to wrap up the the topic here uh, he's the first male athlete i should say in uh, the major team sports in the u.s um i know there was a soccer player an international soccer player i don't know exactly what team he played for who came out and then retired and he's like 26 or something um I, and he just said, like, you know, it would be too hard to continue playing and whatever, and he's going to move on in his life. And it, as much as I respect the, you know, move on in your life, whatever, do whatever the hell you want, I, I always have wished that he stuck around. His name's like Robbie something, I think. Um, because, you know, somebody has to be it. <laughs> like, somebody has to start. And I'm not saying this is like, you know, Jackie Robinson level shit. Maybe. Um, because at least gay players now are technically allowed to play. Even though... Because you can't see it. You know, you can't see that they're gay. It's not like it's stamped on their forehead. But, you know. It's, so it's maybe not that level, but... In simil in similarities to Jack Jackie Robinson, somebody has to be it. He was it for African-American players. Somebody has to be that gay athlete. And I don't know if it's Jason Collins. I think Jason Collins will help encourage others... Um, to come out, but it also depends, does he get a contract this offseason, does he find a team, you know, one of those things, like, because if no one signs him, everyone's going to be like, oh, they don't like him because he's yay, which may be just because Jason Collins isn't that great of a basketball player, but, you know, it will give people that perception, but like I'm saying, like, it's not, you know, like a starter, or even, you know, like a sixth man came out, like if, you know, Jason Terry, he, he's not really a starter, but he, you know, he's an important player, even though he comes off the bench. If he came out, or someone like that, of that level, you know, I'm not saying it has to be, you know, LeBron James, but somebody a bit higher up on, you know, the food chain, perhaps. Um, an NFL player in general, I think, would do a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm just waiting till this isn't a story, and I don't have to, you know, no one talks about it, like, oh, he's gay? Well, that's, that's awesome. Or, or maybe not awesome, but... That's that's cool. Whatever. I, it doesn't affect me. I'm waiting for that day, and we're not there yet. And um, I want to quickly touch on this. The reason this concerns me is I don't know what I want to do exactly in my life. Like, what job I want, what career I want to pursue, whatever. But I, I, I really like MMA. It's something I really like, and I've done it um, throughout my life, and I'm not terrible at it. And I'm in... Decent shape, considering I don't really work out, so therefore if I worked out I'd be in much better shape, and I I think it's a decent possibility that I could do it, or at least something I'd like to pursue, maybe not till I'm 40, like, you know, keep banging my head against the wall, but, or at least not, like, really try till I'm 40, but it's something I plan to at least do a little bit of the rest of my life, and here's the pretty cool save there. Um, 
whether I end up in the UFC and I win a belt, that's another story, obviously. That's like, you know, I want to be an NFL player, but the thing that has stopped me from going back to MMA, at least, like, more full-time now, and that still hinders my my likelihood of doing it, and why, the reason I always can't decide if I want to or not is because I don't know how that works. I know that, like, Liz Carmouche, um, she's a female fighter in the UFC. She fought Ronda Rousey. Um, she is a lesbian. It was very open in the Road to the Fight videos on Fuel, and, you know, it's very much acknowledged, and it's not an issue. But I feel like females being lesbian has always been more accepted than males being gay, whatever that is. I don't know. I guess maybe males are just assholes <laughs> in general. But I, I don't know if I can do both. I, whatever that means. I don't know if I can do MMA and be open about myself. And I don't want to train and do stuff, like, secretly. It's either I'm going to be or I'm not going to be. It's not like... I don't... I don't want to be 32 somehow in the UFC and then announce it. I want to be 20 working my way to the UFC and everybody knows it. Because I'm not going back to this game of hide and seek. And, you know... I'll be 20 in four years. Hopefully, in four years, it's a non-issue and a non-story. I think we have a bit longer road than that. I'd love to help pave the road, but I got to get over the the hurdle because I I just I don't know if it will hinder my ability to proceed in that because I don't know people don't want to train with you, they don't want to do this, they don't want to fight you. It's just like it can cause issues, I guess. And that's a sport where you do, like, lie on top of each other without shirts. Like, it's kind of this weird... <laughs> it's as close to having sex with another guy as you can get without actually doing it. <laughs> Just putting it play. putting it nicely for everyone. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, maybe I threw a couple clips on there at the end for you to enjoy. But, uh, anyways, zombies this week. Daisy, bunch of zombies. Bunch of, bunch of dead people walking around. Uh, leave your thoughts below if you have any. And I'll see you later.